So in this video, now we will try to learn how to create a new database and then by graphically and by writing SQL command. So just to start first thing in SQL, first we need to create one new database. So now if you go in my system, in, these are database are there, there are two that I have created. So now first thing I will show you to create new database. I can go ahead here and create a new database and I can put that name of test one and I can do okay so now we can see that here test one came and now if we go ahead and click here then we can see that test one db is now selected so whatever table views other things we're going to create in this db we can see all of them it here so this is that one way to create it now if I will go ahead and try to create new db create database test one. so now i wanted to create one more database now if i execute you can see it now successfully completed and if i go here and try to before refresh also if i go and so it here it's coming test two in drop down but it's not coming here so if we go here and refresh it we can see now test two created new db but if you can see in table there is nothing created so now i'll show you how to alter that name suppose now this name i don't need that as test2 so what i can do here by graphically we can go and rename to just one two three okay so now if i try to go and click on this one now we can see test one two three is there so now how we can do the same thing so same thing we can do what we can do we can put that like alter database okay. and then modify modify name first test oh okay so now if I go ahead and execute this command, so you can see now it's got refresh name as test4. If you go it and you can see it here. Now one, two, three is not there. It's now test four. If I go it here and do that refresh. Now we can see now test four came. Okay. So in this way we can alter that name. Now if I wanted to drop, okay. Or suppose if I wanted to alter that same thing of test one okay, and I wanted to keep it as 41 and if I go and try to execute let's see what good. so now you can see this now saying it's a uh, database rename and here also it's renamed to 41 if I go and refresh it so here also it's become test one to test 41 okay now to drop this one if you wanted to drop test four so i can go ahead and write that drop database and test four okay and if i execute this one we can see this command successfully completed if i go here test four is now no more here and if i do replace Test 4 is not there. But now I wanted to drop test 41 database. And if I try to execute, let's see. So now we are saying we cannot drop this one because currently in used. So last time since we are in different deep database and we are trying to drop. So we are able to. We can rename in the same database, but we cannot drop it. So to drop this one. I need to go it and select some other database. I can select master and I can go ahead and execute this one. So now it's successfully completed. So if I go and try to refresh this, now we can see that this is got deleted. So similarly, we can do in graphic way as well. Create again. And if I can go before that, I will show you here. Now test one came. If I go here, right click and delete. And if I say OK, and this one just asking is that close existing connection or not? So we don't need that. So we can do it now. If we go, 
try to see now it's not there and it's already deleted from here also if i go ahead and refresh it it's not there so in this way we can create alter and drop this database name thank you for this video